Hello, this is Jill from Paper Daisy Crafting. Thank you for joining me again today. Sorry about my voice. It's a bit croaky and a bit um, nasal. I've got a bit of a cold today, so please excuse me. Hope you're all okay. Um, my project today is this card. Um, this was a card I made for a blog hop, the Inspire Ink blog hop. You may have seen it on my blog. Um, and it was a tic-tac-toe um, challenge which meant that we had to choose a line there was there was like a noughts and crosses grid a tic-tac-toe and you had to choose a line and the line that I chose was gold Christmas and black so this was the card I made black and gold and a little bit of cream in the background um, I'm going to remake it today with you but I'm going to do um, white and silver today so let's have a go and see how we get on so I am going to start with my normal size of card blank. This is half a sheet of A4, so it's about 15 centimetres by 21. And then you need to bring in your trimmer, which is here. I lost it for a minute. And good news is we've got a new trimmer on the way. So some of you who are regular Stamping Up followers will know that our trimmer was um, retired in June. We haven't had a trimmer that we're able to sell since now we will have one anyway so I'm going to score this at ten and a half so that's halfway across the 21 inch um, so, and just fold that and bring in my bone folder to just make sure I get a really crisp <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me it's crisp joint there we go I avoided making this video yesterday because I was coughing so much I didn't think I would get through it right and then we're going to have layers so on my card here you can see that there's a gold foil layer and a black layer um the black i have um embossed with our eyelet lace folder and i've already done this here i will put the measurements on um my blog but basically you end up with a card blank that's 10 and a half by 15 and for each layer you just take off half a centimeter so this one is 14 and a half no sorry the silver is 14 and a half by 10 and then the panel that goes on top is 14 by nine and a half like so so that's what's going to go on there before i stick the silver down can you see that i'm going to stick that down all we're going to see is the border we're not going to see a huge amount of the silver card seems an awful waste to have all that silver card because this is quite expensive our silver foil so what i tend to do is i tend to gut it so what I do is I leave a, an, a centimetre border. It's much more than I need, but I just leave it to be safe. And then take, so this is really good about our, our old trimmer, because you could cut an area in between. So just about a centimetre all the way round. And then you can save that piece in the middle to use for another project, which is pretty good, hey? There we go. So just go round. I call this gutting the card. Um, and you may need to bring your scissors in at the end just to snip a few places that where you haven't quite got the corners. But basically that works really well. So there we go. If I just bring in my snips, like I said, there might be a couple of places where you've missed it. So one there. And one there. and just about pull that one out i think and that one there we go so that's all i need so rather than waste this piece of gold foil that i can use for another thing i tend to leave it i tend to, to do that so this is going to let stick onto our card blank like so um so i'm going to take some tombow put some tombow around here and as usual what I'm going to do is take a cocktail stick and just smooth that out just because I don't want blobs of glue bulging out below here and so I've got a bit too much glue there wipe it off there we go so this gives you a really smooth line of glue um, you can do it without and if you can get really thin lines of glue from the Tombow tube that would work but I just like to make sure that I've smoothed it out gives myself another job 
but it gives me a good finish so I quite like that and the Tombow will give you a bit of wiggle room because you need to get this down and it's just a bit more tricky because you've cut the middle out it can be susceptible to bend a little bit see that's not far enough over I need to move that over a bit so we might just take a little bit of jiggery pokery to get this in the right place so it's about there I think that's better except it's not straight there we go let's straighten it up that's better Got an extra bit oh we'll make a bit of card there there we go right there we go so it's just a little bit more tricky to, to stick down if you've got there um there okay so that's our silver and then our embossed panel is just going to stick on there and because i'm sticking to silver foil um although i could stick in the middle with um glue i'm actually going to use some tear and tape because i know that will hold it because the foil is non-porous and so it's a bit tricky to stick with any liquid glues because they can't um, hang on to it and just peel off when they dry. There we go. So have you all have been having a good weekend? Hope you've all started your Christmas crafting. I'm well into mine now. It's about the 10th Christmas card I've made, I think, although I haven't posted them all, so there's lots more Christmas fun to come. Um, I only bought, I didn't buy a huge amount of sets from the, the Christmas catalogue, so I've been trying to make them go as far as possible. So it's a good exercise in how many different designs can you make with one one set, which um, is very economic, appe appe appeals to my thrifty crafter side. Um, there we go. So, and this is going to go on like so. And again, you need to be a little bit careful here because the, the tear and tape will stick as soon as you've um, stuck it down. So there's our background. I'm now going to stick my Merry. I've already die cut my Merry out of our silver glimmer card. Um, it's from, it goes from the set that matches the Merry Christmas to All stamp set. So you've got stamps that could stamp it, but you've also got a set of dies which are here which you've got the merry out so this was the merry die that i used um, and you've got happy christmas and holidays and a couple of label tags there as well so quite a, quite a versatile set i think and nice sizes of these dies so there we go right now what i'm going to do is because this is very very fine i've put some tombow on a lid like i often do so i'm just going to use the side of my cocktail stick to just dab and roll some glue onto it because I just don't want glue I think t using too much glue is one of the things that spoils a card when you're a beginner um, as opposed to when you're a bit more experienced with crafting so just if you're in doubt use less glue um, it really does spoil your project if you get too much glue all over it there we go and that's going to go there and then we need the Christmas. And the Christmas is going to be heat embossed with a stamp from this set. So I'm using the Christmas from there. Um, and I've just got a piece of white card. I need my embossing buddy. Just go over my card here. Oh, I did it on the black last and it's um, I've taken off some of the black onto my embossing pad buddy there. There we go. I need my Versamark pad. Sorry to reach across here. There we go. This is why I film in my craft room because I'm always forgetting something when I start filming. But I've got everything within reach here so it doesn't really matter. So there we go. Stamp Christmas in Versamark. And then take silver embossing powder. And just... There we go. Oh, beautiful. No, hardly any specks of powder there. That's a really crisp image. And your heat gun. And just heat emboss that. Just going to let it heat up a little bit before I put it on the card because sometimes it can blow. If it's too cold, it blows the, the um, powder off a little bit. So there we go. Watch for the magic still enchants me I've been doing this for I can't tell you how many years still think it's fabulous when you turn um, this dull embossing powder into this lovely shiny raised image absolutely gorgeous 
and then what I did was I cut that out with our um, classic label punch I think this is a classic label I forget what all the punches are called we've got so many label punches I always forget what they're called I think this is the classic label and it just fits can you see just perfect for this stamp so just line it up and punch and then this is going to go underneath the merry I was going to stamp directly onto the white card but then I decided to emboss it and it wouldn't have worked as well with the embossing and I do think the embossing adds something to this card it just would be very plain without it and it's just a very subtle something else so we're going to put that there making sure it's straight there we go and then to finish off we had the, the snowflakes and you might have been looking at this thinking, well, where did you get those snowflakes? So what I actually did was I took the snowflake die from the Christmas layers set and I actually cut them apart. I cut my snowflakes apart. So I've got it here. Here's the die cut shape. So I will just take off the backing here. Just take them out. And they are quite intricate, so it just takes a little while to just pull them out without tearing. I only did one through one run through the die cutter though. They do cut quite easily. Take out all these middle, the middle waste. Right, and then we've got a selection of snowflakes. So I'm going to start with this little one here, which is the one that I've put up there. So he's going to go up there. And then this bigger one is this one down here. So I'm just going to come in and just trim that where it joins the other one. Oh, I can't get that off. It's got a little overhang there that I want to get rid of. There we go. And then I'm going to cut it off here and I'm going to cut it off here. So you just have to trim a little bit just to make look perfect and there might be a bit of a flat edge where you need a point so just trim those off and then it's perfect so I'm just going to finish getting out all the odd bits with my tweezers there we go so I've got another snowflake to go there and then the last one was this one here so again I'm going to trim off here and trim off here trim off the waist and then I've just got oh, and another bit here to trim off there we go and then I've got some more snowflakes I can use for another card on there I don't need them and then I'm just going to come back and trim off the excess here and if you've got a nice sharp pair of scissors like a pair of our snips this will really help try, please don't try and do it with blunt scissors because it really won't work you can see that even with our snips I'm getting some problems there we go I think that's okay and then again I'm just going to punch out pop out all the waste in there I could use a brush but I just happen to have my tweezers and I'm a sad person in that I quite I find it quite therapeutic post punching out all these little shapes if I was doing hundreds of course I wouldn't do this I would use the I'd keep the die together and do with the brush and then cut them out but as I've only got a few to do that's fine right well my voice is um held out for this video um just about was afraid i might lose it halfway through but i'm all right um i really felt lethargic yesterday i didn't have any motivation to do anything i meant to record this video yesterday and i just sat on the all yesterday evening i sat on the sofa watching strictly and feeling sorry for myself which is very unusual for me i normally like to get things done there we go so oh, i've lost my little snowflake now where's it gone so those just need sticking on there oh i'm quite liking this um silver one i didn't have a choice when i did the first one i had to use black gold and silver and it pushed me into using a different color scheme which is always a good thing but actually this one is much back to my regular color scheme of silver and white for christmas which i love so there we go and that's my Christmas, another one of my Christmas cards. So I wonder if you're building up your Christmas stash yet. Um, 
I know it seems ages away, but somebody said the other day, it's something like 90 days till Christmas. It's not that long. And when you consider that Christmas cards are sent out, sort of anything from the 1st of December, then that cuts that down by another 25 days. So not that long if you've got a lot of Christmas cards to make. I usually set out intending to make all mine and usually end up having to buy some in the end. Um, there we go. And this year I'm determined I'm going to make them all. We'll see. Right, there we go. Two lovely Christmas cards. Um, I wonder which is your favourite. I quite like them both for different reasons. I can imagine sending these to different people. Anyway, that's all from me today. Thank you very much for watching. I shall be back very soon with another video. So please um, subscribe with the button at below if you, um, if you haven't already. And if you click the bell, you'll always get a notification when I post a new video. I try and post videos three times a week. I haven't been that consistent just recently for various things, family problems and things. But I do try. So if, when I'm back to normal, I will be posting more often. Thanks for watching. Have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye.